begin to make graffiti in 91. So I did really during 10 years, like uh, just tags in the street. And my name was Latlas already. And so then I was interested by calligraphy. Because uh, at this moment I was thinking like the pure gesture in graffiti was the same to make a calligraphy with a pure gesture also. So after that, when I begin to study calligraphy, I study Arabic calligraphy and Chinese calligraphy. I try to mix the spirit together. I mean like really old traditional uh, art, like calligraphy, with a really contemporary art, which is graffiti. And so I mix those things together and uh, even practically, I mean, I create a new alphabet. So the idea was to create something that whatever do you come from or your culture, you can feel something that you already see or feel across different cultures. About illegal side, yeah, as I told you, I begin to make 10 years of illegal graffiti in the street, so I really like this energy. It's like a pulsion or you know, you feel the adrenaline, like, you know, you have to escape from police and laws. So I really like this energy because uh, I begin by that. And by the time I arrived to make paint by the graffiti, so I really like it. And then after in 2000, 2001, in France and Europe, a lot of people begin to make that we call street art. That's not only writing, but pasting or painting big walls or using other materials to attack the street and to use the street as a museum. But I think like, like each movement when it's recognized by history of art is dangerous because it's become a fashion movement and so a lot of people uh, come around just uh, for fame. So I think it's a dangerous thing but it's the sign that history of art recognized that is the last movement. So it's good in a sense. And when I begin to make things in the street after graffiti, and, uh, I was wearing as a urban uh, worker just to, to be invisible in the activity of the city. And I was speaking a lot at this moment with the people in the street. And uh, so I was really influenced by what the people said about my work. So I was speaking with people and people and most of all child and children really helped me to, to see what I was doing. A wall? Eternity? What I mean is like, you know Jean-Pierre Melville? It's a French director uh, which has died and the journalist asked him, what is your biggest dream? And he said, become, etern no. become eternal and then die. And the first sentence uh, of graffiti in New York, in the street, or in the train was graffiti is an art and here to stay. So it makes sense 50 years after. So I think the links for me is the frontier because you know my work is about uh, the trip or the displacement of uh, the human body around the, the country. So for me limitless is mean there's no frontier between outside or inside or between different cultures. I think those barriers are mental and that's the spirit of my art. We are always confront to a space. You are inside or outside, you, you have a wall, you have a space, so you have to think it's like in situ art. You have to think what you're going to do uh, with the limit of the space. In a way, uh, street art and internet born together. When I begin to make uh, those series in 2000. It was the beginning of uh, internet and so it was really uh, like a good mix because you, you were doing something in the street, just make a pictures. I mean the canvas not staying in the street so you see that it's invisible. The only uh, trace was the pictures and so how to show that and touch the most number of people was internet. So for us really the street are born with, with internet also. Thank you.